I think one of the one of the few films that did have magic in it from the Marvel Universe was Thor. And yes. what this film shares with that is that sense of humor, which I think this was the funniest film of the series. Uh -huh. um, was it important to have that element of humor in involved when you've got science and magic clashing? Sure. You know, I mean, humor is always important to us. You know, uh, uh, to, to make sure that that these movies are a fun ride. And um, uh, you know, it's it's it, but it also comes from a real place. Like if characters are thrown into this mix, are thrown into these situations, I think a lot of times the reactions that they have that, that are the funniest moments are very real moments that come out of how you or I would react. I've been in there, and I think that's why uh, that's why the audience thinks it's funny, and that's why the audience connects with it because it feels real. Mm -hmm. You've done a number of Marvel films before. Um, what is it about this character in particular that you thought would make for a great movie? Uh, just how different it is, right? I mean, this whole world. Uh, and, and from the characters to the magic to everything about it is a completely new realm for us. And that's very important for us. This is our 14th Marvel release. And we take it very seriously to try to do something fresh every time. And, and uh, uh, that's why we're very excited to introduce new characters. You know, I mean, the stories will continue in other films, of course, but you got to keep pumping new blood into, into, the, into uh, Marvel, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Mm -hmm. What were the big changes that you had to make from the comics to the, to the big screen? You know, I think it was being aware of everything that's come before it. You know, I mean, the comics are from the 60s, and they were awesome and mind-bending at the time. Uh, uh, but we're not just inheriting that comic, we're inheriting all of cinema that's come between there. And there's, you've seen stories like this a lot before, and so we were, we were very keen to not repeat what's come before in Marvel movies, in other movies. You know, there's some amazing magic movies out there. I love the Harry Potter series. I think it's fantastic. Uh, uh, but we wanted to do something different. I think if we did sort of a similar take on magic, it might appear like a lesser form of that. We're not going to beat them at their own game. So we had to sort of come at it from a different angle, which is why magic in this movie is uh, 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 sort of dimensional and, and goes back to tapping into other powers from other dimensions. Mm. How do you think Stephen Strange, Doctor Strange, will interact with the other characters in the Marvel Universe? Uh, I think I think in the comics he was always sort of aloof. There was an aloofness to him because he dealt with the unseen, with other dimensions, uh, while these petty humans squabbled on Earth. And that was always what was most fun about him, is that he sort of sat above in a, in a, with an air of superiority that kind of chafed sometimes. And I think I think that's a fun uh, fun avenue to explore. Excellent. And finally, we see some uh, we we know the superpowers in this film, but also a different fight technique from the films that we've seen in, in uh, the Marvel Universe. Yeah. Again, how will that mash up with the with the other films and the characters in the series? Uh, I, I think it'll be unique. It'll be you know the, half of the fun is is the collision, and that it and that maybe it doesn't necessarily fit together perfectly. That it sort of crashes together, and. Um, you know, a lot of our films we consider basically genre experimentations, and, and Scott's a huge uh, fan of Asian cinema, of martial arts, and, and so there's definitely a huge aspect of that into the whole in the whole DNA of this film. And I think that was a cool a cool new way for us to explore that we haven't done yet. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Cheers. Tell us how tricky it is entering that kind of universe with a new character like Doctor Strange. Yeah, it's super tricky. You know, I mean, they're all tough. Part ones are tough because it's brand new, and sequels are tough because you're coming back and don't want to repeat yourself. This one was really tricky because because it's magic, and magic sort of has no boundaries and no rules if you let it. And so you have to sort of define those boundaries, and but also, you know, do something new. Like, you don't want to repeat yourself. You don't want to repeat what other magical movies have done. You don't want to repeat what other Marvel movies have done. You don't want to repeat what other tentpole movies have done. So it's all about kind of just finding that sweet spot of, of trying to do something fresh and new. And that was kind of our, our own mantra as we made the film. And is there always a balance with these films to please the comic book fans who know all the details, of course, but also make it a, intrinsically a good cinematic adventure? Sure, yeah. You don't want to ever lose the base. <laughs> you can know, win the election if you, if you lose the base. But uh, uh, we sort of consider ourselves fans, and so we kind of continually ask ourselves if we want to see it, you know, rather than, than a sense of, like, guessing what some, some phantom fan base out there might like. We sort of consider ourselves right there with them. And so the first Lisbon test is always, do we like it? Do we want to see it? And tell us why Benedict uh, in this role, what makes him work? Uh, he's Benedict's so perfect for this. I mean, his past work, like a lot of people, we, we got to know him through Sherlock, and you just see the, the intellectual complexity that he's working with and the emotional complexity that he's working with. Uh, uh, this guy has a lot of layers. Like, it's as big an arc as any character we've ever gone from. I mean, there's a lot of Tony left in Iron Man. By the time Stephen Strange 
reaches the end of this film, he's almost a completely different human being. And you needed an actor with incredible range and incredible depth to do that. And uh, uh, Benedict was clearly the guy to do it because he did an amazing job. And what about heading? Of course. And what about heading forward? I mean, there's the excitement. You can't tell people exactly what happens in this film. We don't want to spoil it, of course. Yeah. But there's always that. We know there's going to be another movie. We know he's going to fit into the franchise somewhere. Is that sure. exciting knowing that? It, it's so exciting, and we always sort of take it as it comes. You know, uh, uh, people think that we have some grand master plan of how everything is going to connect four or five movies down the road. And there's there's a sense of that for sure. But we kind of let the narrative evolve as we go along and, and see what we're responding to, what audiences are responding to. And a, a lot of people are asking me, wow, magic is in the MCU now. How is that going to work? And the truth is, we're not completely sure, but that's the most exciting. Like, we want it to sort of come crashing in to this Avengers universe. In the same way that when Tony Stark said, I am Iron Man at the end, it was a great moment to end that movie. We weren't exactly sure what that meant for the future. We had to then figure out, oh, he's going to figure out exactly what running his mouth off means to make that statement. But uh, uh, that's what's most exciting. So so bring it on. Bring on magic in the MCU. And a lot of people are saying Doctor Strange is almost the next the next step, maybe the character to, to see it, to steer it the next 10 years. Do you see that? Uh, I mean, we'd be lucky if, if it could. You know, let's wait until people respond to this. But I, I think we've been very fortunate to have a lot of characters that are, that are strong. and. Uh, I think you make an argument for a lot of them, so that, that's pretty exciting. Thanks yeah. very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!